we are going to install the SQL Server database provider package inside of our Entity Framework core application in this lecture section. We are also going to install the tooling associated with the Entity Framework commands so that we can perform the different EF commands associated inside of our project. Before we do that, I wanted to show you that once you install Visual Studio 2015, whether it's professional or community, make sure that you have the Microsoft SQL Server data tools installed. As you can see right here, this is checked on my installation. You want to make sure that you add this to your existing installation. You can go to the installation process and change it within control panel. Make sure that this is checked right here so that you can utilize the local DB within our application. So let's close this out. Let's go ahead and say yes, we want to cancel that. And we're going to go to our application right here. And inside of our application, we have a lot of different things we can look at. We see our project.json that has all of the packages associated with our application. Now I can easily go inside of here and add the Microsoft.Entity Framework Core.SQL Server package. But I wanted to show you another way you can do this. You can go to Tools up here, and you can go to NuGet Package Manager, and you can pick Package Manager Console. And then going right here, you can type in the command to associate what package you want to install. So this is another way to do the installation via command line. So in this case, let's put install package Microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL server. And when I do that, watch what happens and it's restoring the NuGet packages. It installed right here, Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.SQL Server, and it's given the 1.0 version, and you can see that package associated inside of our reference library. So this is another way you can implement different references inside of your project. Remember that we're utilizing this in our, our course project final. We will also implement this in our, our course app associated with our login form. So right there, once I added that, now I want to install the tooling associated with Entity Framework Core. Then I'm going to come up here and show you the other way to, that we were doing this. And we can type up here Microsoft, which is the simpler way of doing it, dot Entity Framework Core dot Tools. Once we have that, then we can associate what version we want. We want to go with 1.0.0 .0 Preview 2 Final. We want to save that and look at the NuGet packages that are being restored into our application. Give it a second while it restores. And you can see it right there that we have that tooling associated with our project. Now in the next lecture, we'll actually configure this once we implement a context to associate it in our app settings for a connection string. But how do you get that connection string? So once you set up your local DB, you can come up here to view and you can go to SQL Server Object Explorer. And right here in SQL Server Object Explorer, you see right here a local database to associate inside of your project. So right here, there's no database here, but you can go to properties and inside of properties, you'll be able to see your connection string. And this is what we'll utilize right here inside of our next lecture to associate with our app settings. So we see local DB, what project version, the specific instance that we're going to implement, Entity Framework Core, and then we're going to implement our new database associated with that, and then implement our migrations to our local DB. So this is how we're going to implement in the next lecture to associate with this connection string. We'll associate that in our app settings and then configure this in our configure services inside of our startup.cs for our specific connection string to our instance and we'll implement that within our local db so i look forward to seeing you in the next lecture where we actually configure our database